Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a blur effect on the background. And I'm also going to be showing you how to add a blur to the background, but make sure the uh, object isn't blurred so you can see them like clearly. So let's get to it. My canvas right here with a picture on the background. This one's going to be really nice so I can blur out this part, but leave in this. So here's how I'm going to go about it. First, I'm going to try to separate these two um, from the picture. So I'm going to go to my lasso tool by right clicking on it, going over to polygonal. I'm just going to, if you don't know how this works, uh, check down in the description. I will post a link to one of my videos that shows you how to use the lasso tool. But if you know, just follow along. I'm going to click on one end. I'm going to keep following this down. Doesn't have to be perfect. Can't really see where my mouse even is because, you know, grass. Okay. Connect it back to the start. And I'm going to hit uh, Control C and Control V. So now over here, you can see the layer is by itself. So, yeah, sure, there's some grass, whatever. Doesn't really matter. It'll look good. We got these two separated. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to layer one, which is just the whole picture. We're going to go up to filter, go to blur and box blur. Check that out. Now you can blur as much as you want, but to make it look like I'll blur it like that. Actually, I think this is still selected. Okay. So it looks really, uh, rainy but i don't think i'm gonna just uh try to make this picture look better so i'm gonna click on a layer one and i'm just going to go to adjustments bright, brightness and contrast and try turning it up a little bit and see how that goes not too much brightness and then i'm gonna go to vibrance you don't have to do this but i'm just doing it see how this turns out i'm gonna make the brightness on the wall a little bit lower because it's like super bright and the contrast is as well. But instead of that, I'll just turn up the vibrance. Like I'll replace it with that. Oh, holy. That is not what we want at all. So honestly, uh, it's really not that bad. It's that's kind of what I was getting at. But if you don't want this, you can just blur the entire background like that. And then you can put like text over it whatever you want to do. But if you want to take an object out of that blur then go ahead and do what I did in the beginning of this video, I hope this helped you guys. If you want me to go in depth with the blur tool and all of the options that you can do right here, just let me know and I'll make a video about it. If you guys have any suggestions for videos, leave it down below and subscribe.